The Senate was informed that the national flag carrier was not on the prioritization list, winding up a discussion on a calling attention notice on suspension of PIA flights in the European Union countries. The Aviation Minister Pakistan said, the restructuring of the Pakistan International Airlines was on the cards. He rejected the allegation that a statement on dubious licenses of pilots was an effort to bring the state-owned airline to the verge of collapse to pave way for its privatization. He said the European Aviation Safety Agency's ban on PIA flights in EU countries and three cities of the EUK have been imposed neither due to the plane crash in Karachi nor because of a statement that some of the PIA pilots possessed fake degrees. This is an old issue as the PIA has been facing questions on safety standards since 2007. The minister said this was not the first time that the EASA had suspended PIA operations in EU countries. The operations of some of the PIA planes had remained banned from 2007 to 2009 on safety issues and after this. The airline was under surveillance due to safety hazards. The EASA had in 2019 given its six observations on the PIA to comply with till June 30, 2020. Five of its observations have been addressed and the sixth one on safety standards has yet to be complied with, he added. The minister said that the ban would remain in force for two months till the end of August but the government was going into appeal by the end of July. He said the issue of fake licenses of PIA pilots was old before the minister agreed that the examination process to issue licenses to the pilots was changed from manual to computerized in 2012. And this led to the use of unfair means through illegally accessing passwords. He said an inquiry board formed in 2019 had put a question mark on the credentials of 262 pilots and said their licenses were dubious. He said criminal cases would be lodged against those who issued these licenses as money was involved in the matter. The minister also said that the reports that the US President Donald Trump was interested in purchasing PIS Roosevelt Hotel in New York were wrong. He said this was also wrong to say that the government wanted to induct PAF or Shaheen Airways pilots into the PIA after sacking its pilots. We will not privatize PIA, rather bring reforms in it and restructure it, he added. So with this, we come to an end of today's video. Do consider subscribing if you're new around here and do turn on your post notification icon so that you, want, so that you don't miss any of our future uploads. This is what I have for you today and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.